Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to watch the lost episode of Low Cow Live. That's right, we finally got our hands on this lost footage, and you're about to see it. Let me set the stage, all right? This was recorded as a pilot episode, as a test episode before we launched the show. It was recorded back in June, right after Wings and Boogie fought each other. The entire internet was giving them both praise. They were getting so much love and so much attention that DSP went behind my back and was trying to do this podcast with Wings and Boogie without me. However, we got rid of DSP, we replaced him with Tommy C, and we were about to do the pilot episode. The problem was, there was a person in our group chat organizing everything that nobody knew. It was DSP's buddy. He went off without permission, made all the socials, and this same guy was the only guy that had access to the pilot episode, and he wouldn't give it to us. However, through some methods that I do not wish to disclose at this time, we got the episode. And obviously we kicked that guy out, we made all new socials, everything's good now, but the lost episode has been recovered and you finally get to watch it now. Roll it. All right. Hey everybody, welcome to the Low Cow Podcast. I'm here with none other than Boogie29988 and The Wings of reject uh redemption how are you how are you guys wings of rejection i got you You, wings of rejection yes yeah how are you guys doing today um have you have you have you have you i i don't know uh uh, uh, dated a girl that's barely of age have you uh with uh look he's currently doing that are we starting with that are we starting with that well, have you conspired with somebody to um i don't know fix a call of duty match either any war is the is, how, what's going on in Boogie and Wingsland? Uh, I'm not man, you know, I'm just being Boogie at this point. I'm just like being just trying to exist, stay Don't alive. You have, like, Can I ask Boogie a question? Sure. What? All right. How old is your girlfriend? 20. 20. Oh, okay. She's when I was, when I, I, was, I will send you her ID, Tommy. What no, you let's, not do that. let's not do that. Do not. Let's not do that. She's when I was 26, I tried to date a 19-year-old. Like I met her on Plenty of Fish, whatever. You know, we got together, traded numbers. How do you do it? Like they, all they want to do is text. They ain't got shit going on in their life. They don't she's really not have that the- kind of person. Here's here's sure. the kind of person she is, okay? Sure. She likes to hang out at my place. She likes to smoke weed. She likes to talk to her mom. She likes to watch movies. And she likes to hang out. And and that, that's it. That's she's She's not a big texter. She's not on social media a lot. She like... She likes to be there and in the moment, unless you count the weed, and then she definitely likes to smoke weed before bed. <laughs> but you know, I mean, she's she's an atypical person, and she's on the autism spectrum. I'm on the autism spectrum, so Sounds we like get along. A little along bit of homosexual. That. A little bit what? Homosexual. I don't know what that. What the hell's homosexual, Jordan? It's it's like when you get into a relationship just to have a place to live. <laughs> Oh my God! She had a she lived on a big farm back home with her animals and her family. She was very happy there. Yeehaw! And, oh my hey, God! Hey, you know when I was when I, before I got married, we used to talk about what our kids might look like if we got married. Do you guys ask each other how we your kids will end up? If you guys oh know, my God! Let's, about that. Let's, you know. They would look like they came off. I can use nights. that word. I I am allowed to use Tommy. You are not allowed to use that word. God damn! Just it. imagine the little oh. redhead kids with like curly hair, just just running around. <laughs> yeah. I want a Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right. And what about Trying you? To bring Wayne? Francis out right before, the, like right at the beginning, huh? Francis, look, look nobody. Look, wants I've been to getting see a lot that. of hell. Well, from how, I'm, how from so? like dating a 20 year old girl because I'm a 49 year old man. I get it. I get it. I understand it's creepy and it's weird. Hell, if I was dating anybody, it's creepy and weird because I'm involved. I get that. Okay. But it's a healthy, happy relationship so far. I ain't yeah. going to say it's not going to f- up at some point. Some relationships do. Most relationships do. Um, f- 50% of relationships end in death, 50% of relationships end in, in, in uh, you know, uh, heartbreak. So I'm mm. aiming for the dying one. I'm just, I'll be glad to die. I, mean, I, got, I, got, I got a pro tip for you. Don't take her to a bar at closing time. So I can't take her to a bar at all. What are you talking about? Oh, you're Wait. right. Dude. Holy shit. Funny. Yeah, yeah. 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 Jesus Christ. You imagine if, if they're all the thing, like they couldn't put him in jail for pulling a gun on Frank Castle, but you know, they t- he accidentally forgets, takes her to a bar. And then he ends up doing some time for underage drinking. Would you imagine that? That'd be, that'd be kind of uh, they, they would put the, they'd put the sticker on her hand. 
<laughs> you know, they, they give you the little X and she'd have to go wash it off. <laughs> like, I'm going to teach well, that bad son right now. Look, people <laughs> accuse me of all kinds of nefarious shit. At the end of the day, at least I'm not EDP 445. No, no, no. And EDP right? 445 was in the news, strangely enough. Did you hear about that, Wings? Yeah, I did. I did hear about this one, which, which oh. I, have a, I have a history with EDP 445 because. Oh, really? I was going for weight loss surgery. And EDP 445 felt the need to be charitable and offer uh, me weight loss counseling. Motherfucker, you're bigger than me. You're yeah. bigger than me. Well, what did, did it involve? Me? Did it involve eating cupcakes? Is, uh, what was his weight loss strategy? I, I I didn't I didn't do anything with him. I pretty much ignored his ass, and he made a video yeah. saying he, I was a fat him, bitch did, and shit like that. Shack up with somebody really young. That'll bring the you that the, 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 that'll shed the weight. You, you'll want to work for her. That's is that what he told you? <laughs> no, I, I didn't. I, I've never spoke to the man privately. He just made videos on me, but it, I've never liked his vibe. And if I don't fuck with your vibe, I don't fuck with you. That's yeah, the man, you, the man has been caught what ten times now? How many times three that I know of? Three uh, that I know of. Right? You know, and you, like, you, you, you've never liked his vibe. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bug. I'm sorry. To interrupt. No, go right, go right ahead. Go right ahead. I just want to point something out. Something that Wings of Redemption, this is probably all going to get us in trouble, said years ago that, like, did you ever, you said something about Mr. Mediger years ago, right? Um, that, like, the amount of time they talk about sexual degeneracy or pedophilia, you have to wonder what's going on there. Is that correct? I mean, do you, I don't you remember saying talking? that to Mr. Yeah, Mediger. I, but remember. I, I, remember, I remember saying something along the lines that. People that are that that are this up for like, well, how am I going to say this? People that are this much into other people's business have to wonder what kind of skeletons they're holding in their own closet. You said, so, yeah, but you mentioned it within in, in reference to Medicare. If I was I was saying, but I just want to let you know, it looks like Medicare beat cancer. He streamed last week. Are you happy? Damn, I I don't really keep up with him, honestly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I will say, let me let me tell you one thing, Tommy. Okay, sure, so take Josh Sweden as a prime example. Joss Whedon was like a very notable feminist, right? A notable feminist, like tweeting about feminism all the time, screaming about feminism all the time, marching good. for feminism all the time. And it turns out he abused women in the background, right? So there yeah. is some truth to the fact that like, you got to wonder if somebody complains about something all the time and makes it a cornerstone of their personality, why Bro, they're doing really. that, right? Like Josh, I talk he, about, he I like, talk about like EDP, Christian, shit like that, because I'm the victim of that. Shit. I'm a victim of incest. I'm the victim of, of child abuse. I'm the victim of sexual abuse when I was a child. So I like, I'm obsessed with it. I like calling people out in our community. I like screaming at people from doing this because I know for a fact it ruins your fucking life. Look at my life. How'd my life turn out? If somebody didn't know. diddle me, it might not be half as fucking bad, right? You don't think so? I think it could have been a little bit better. I think it definitely could have been, right? Yeah, it would have so, uh, easily erased a double cheeseburger off your menu. Every <laughs> at least a double cheeseburger, right? <laughs> We're but like there, the opposite of there's, friend fishing. There's bitch. truth, especially in the feminism world, where we, we go back and look at it. There's a lot of men that were hiding in plain sight. And I mean, yeah. there are court documents that proved that they abused women, but they were out there remember, marching on the lines, Deadpool? wearing the little flags and shit. Do what? Do you remember Russian Deadpool? He no. was like, um, he was one of the SJWs back in the Gamergate days. He shot his girlfriend to death while she was running away. Uh, wow she, he would make videos on like sargon of a cod and, and all that other stuff and uh yeah yeah he like uh he, he uh the, she got the fight i guess they were doing shrooms or what something what's the name of the guy that like broke down and cried because he watched like um fake ai porn of like one of the streamers that was his friend oh what Who like that, that that's if you got a death if you got a death pool or a, like an assault pool put his yeah. name on it he's gonna <laughs> beat a woman to death at some point oh, who was that? yeah that ruined his career he had a he had a bunch of uh, yeah ai porn which is um which is funny to me i i i i really i really love how like these horrible horrible children these these money grubbing pigs on on twitch try to act so so like like, like they're a, I, i'm so sorry i looked at porn everybody looks at porn. but you just you know they're, they're always like uh like feminists yeah, dude's probably feminist selling his wife sparks and jars and then they it turns out they're just as up is wings of redemption you know or probably even uh, more uh, you know I'll be, I'll, I'll, let's use edp as the standard because edp is way more than i am because like how do you get caught no. again i i know the answer to this question and i Pedophile. think uh, feel you that's usually the feel you <laughs> for a lot of these guys is a level of compulsion and so there's this i used to watch how to catch a predator because that show entertained the shit out of me to watch these sick fucks get busted mm. made me so happy and there's one guy on how to catch so a predator you, you can look up this episode do what 
You're what? talking about the guy whose his mom's going to take his computer away from him? Did you see something no, this, yourself no, this, in him? <laughs> this dude got this dude went to the house and got arrested. Okay, then they led him out. Then he went right back to the same chat room and got no. busted again and so met funny. them at like a Taco Bell or a Subway or some shit. like 48 hours after he you just got Chris arrested, Hansen? right? Twice in a week. <laughs> yeah, like twice like, like in a 48 hour turnaround, right? He, and so like he, that led me to understand that for yeah, some of these guys, out. it's a disgusting compulsion, which is why I continue to say pre uh, like files need dirt naps, like actual files like people wow. out there abusing actually like here's, 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 here's like, what put them in the ground put them in the ground we're ignoring a factor here but like the the fact that he got caught for a third time right after the second it was the second time he lost his youtube channel he lost his you know instagram he lost anything he actually had he lost everything mm -hmm. right so for him to get caught again has to tell me that what he's doing has led to success at some point so there's you, you know they, they you know what I'm saying? Like you wouldn't continue to do this, especially with like the ramifications of your actions, unless you've gotten success at some point with it. So he's been what you're saying, Wings, is he's been well, fishing so long that he must have pulled a trout out every so often and only has been caught twice out of like a thousand. Correct. Miles. Correct. Okay. Like one hundred percent. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's Thank heartbreaking, you. man. It is a heart heartbreaking. Thing. And like and you go back and you look at um like so many YouTubers, like in the Minecraft sphere, so many of them got caught. So many of them were like actual pieces of shit. Um, mm. Basher, looking back on Basher, mm. man, a lot of shit that guy did was absolutely not right. I don't know about the accusations. I don't know how all that played out, but some of the stuff he was doing, he met a, he had a Minecraft channel. You and, like, I hate to speak in dead. Basher and, can't sue you. Come on, let him right. have I hate oh. to feel, uh, speak ill of the dead, but I know people are going to on my grave, so I'm down with it. But Basher, <laughs> like, he had a Minecraft channel and he started uploading touch my girlfriend challenges with, like, <laughs> Clara baby legs on his Minecraft channel after, yeah. like, fostering an audience of children. Now you True. got a McClaney clad woman and you're, like, rubbing all up on her. As, and that's... What, what, what's what's that she, up like, Minecraft? What time, is going dude? on? I don't she, know. Was, she was barely of age, I think. No, I don't think she's barely of age, because I, I remember him specifically boasting about having backdoor playtime with her when she was underage. I, really? I don't, yeah. I'm going to get myself canceled so again, but I have... I, her in the air, according to him, see <laughs> on, the key, on drum alert. I mean, you might be onto something. <laughs> I, I mean, I hate to get myself canceled two ep episodes in a row. Mm. Okay? But I, yeah. I have an opinion. When people are out there accusing random people for being a pile, right? Mm. Like, I'm in an adult relationship. You're accusing me of being a Right, you are weakening that word. You are destroying that word. You are making you're applying it to things that it's not applicable, in. and that's how predators hide in plain sight. Because I'm getting called a predator. Getting called a pedophile should be reserved for pedophiles so that we can find them and signal them, single them out. That's how these mother these mother so hide saying, in plain is, is sight all your, because all your haters are pro. Is that what you're saying? No, buddy? I'm just saying, like, I get, I get, I understand that what they're, they're creeping that out by the relationship. What they I did understand, I get it. Yeah. But at the same time, I, I ain't breaking no laws. I ain't molding no children. I ain't no EDP, dude. Sure? So, like, when you're accusing me of that, you're weakening that word. Well, you know what? Reserve it for is? actual and go for an actual. Like, why are you obsessed with me when EDP is out there banging kids? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what the <laughs> am I doing? If you take the amount of time that, like, whenever I think, what would it, would it, um, EDP get busted? What two years ago? I think it's been about two years, right? Yeah, two, three like years. So if you would have been with your girlfriend two, three years ago, Boogie, you'd be in jail right now. You know? No, she'd be eighteen. No, That's she'd be way. eighteen. She'd be eighteen. Uh, wow. Well. screwing my jokes. Will you? you know, somebody <laughs> said to me. Oh, now listen, Tom. You know what somebody said to me? Somebody said, "When you turned twenty-one, how old was your your uh, girlfriend?" And I said, well, Probably she wasn't born. born yet. And then somebody said, well, like, well, how old was she 10 years ago? And I'm like, well, she was 10. But I wasn't dating her then, so I don't give it. <laughs> right? Like, if I was pulling up to the preschool, loading her up in my car, I get why yeah. you'd be mad. I waited well, until she turned you 20. until she got to I, high school. I, well, she's an adult, <laughs> man. For God's sake, she can. Look, I have an opinion. And this is a gross-ass opinion, but I get it, okay? If, if you can take a bullet for Uncle Sam then you can take a load from the man of your choice. I give all the agency <laughs> to the adults out there. You mm. you can sign up for the f army and get yes. shot in the head by yes. a, a fucking Middle Eastern I did that. 
Joker or oh, a Russian. Lord. If you have the right to do that, you have the right to choose the man you are with. Stop yes. taking agency away from women. Uh, this ain't going to my channel, right? I, I, I want to hear that. I, I just want to hear too. Like, like, like the first to fight for the right and to fill it. I, I'm, I'm feeling very patriotic with yeah, that. Right? Right? Yeah, right? Yeah. I'm feeling good. Yeah. <laughs> I said it when Keemstar started dating Brantley, and I say it now. Stop mm. infantilizing these women. And you know what else is messed up about it? If she'd started a, a, an OnlyFans, no one would have gave a shit. The day no. she turned 18, if she created an OnlyFans, they would have signed up a lot of these people, okay? No. But the reality of it is they're just mad what? she's with me. Can I meet her? Can I meet her? Would you introduce her to me? I mean, she's busy right now, but yeah, at some point. No, not this second. Not this second. Yeah, you can, like, you, you can meet her. I'd be, like, be both on my show, or maybe she can come in here one time. I think that I want to meet hey, her. Yeah. I, I have questions. questions. Oh, I you have questions. questions. questions? Well, if you really want to know, Tommy, it's a micro. Well, I'll tell you. No, no, that's the last thing. I, <laughs> I figured that. I, I bet on that a long time ago. Uh, Can but, I, I, I have I have a question, Legit, like, like with the EDP situation. Like, how does he never get arrested? Like, I hear all the time that the internet sleuths are all about getting clout and they don't do good record keeping and entrapment and, and things like that. But there has to be enough for, for like a detective to like latch on to and get and get some kind of like investigation going. You know what it is? I think here's what I think. We don't know anything about the law. We're YouTubers and we act like we do. And when the law actually gets involved, people get away because no. Yeah, but knows. like half the half the cops I know don't know the law. If you ask the cop yeah, what's I, the I, five service to the Constitution, <laughs> yeah. they couldn't tell you. I mean, at the end of the day, oh, having gone through the legal system a little bit, I can tell you number one, it's not a fair system. Number no. two, it's slow. It's no. so slow. I hate the fact right? that you can't point a gun at somebody and like he can like get you in all sorts of trouble. The fact <laughs> is, he's pointed a gun at somebody and got more ramifications than EDP out here praying on. Fucking yeah, 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 good point. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I you know at, at at the end of the day, I understand why they threw the book at me. Like uh, gun crime is like a problem, and like they want to make an example out of me and I'm a high profile case. That prosecutor told my lawyer all that. He told me yeah. all that. You know, it's fine. Are you? Are I you? Get it. I don't know. Are you? Are you still under uh, any kind? Of, are you done with that? I got a little bit of probation left, but not very much. Yeah. I don't say anything what I'm about to say. Don't don't comment on anything I'm about to say. Okay, all right. I think it would have been awesome if you blew his brains out. That would have surprised everybody. Ooh. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't get in trouble. No, if, 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 if I can say that, something. You probably would have gotten less trouble. Like, he asked for it, you know, sort of like uh, Nicole Brown Simpson. That's, I've that's had, I, you, I've can't had take, you can't take warning shots because if you take a warning shot, you're not fearing for your life. I, I've had cops tell me that um, I would have been in less trouble had I pulled the trigger while it was so pointing. I, him. You know, that's, yep. that's so crazy. I I was always told, um, even 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 because I, I I have a friend that um, I have a friend that shot a dog in Iraq and ended up getting an Article 15 over it. Mm -hmm. Right, the dog was growling at him, and he yelled at the uh, guy, and the guy didn't know English, so he blew away. So he got in a bunch, bunch of trouble. And then, like, if he shot the guy, he probably would have been in less trouble than if he shot the dog. You know, I was always told from every security guard that was harmed, if you pull it out, empty it. That's it. There's yeah. no in between. There's either complete all out, or you keep that holstered and you deal so, with it. So yeah, I've been told. The, being I've, the adult in the room, why didn't you just call the cops? We did. Yeah. Like, I mean, obviously, I'm sure uh, Kiwi Farms and all those people pulled the 911 records and 911 calls. We well, called them the night before. We had a conversation with a cop on the front door, told him this was about to go down, asked him if they could, like, provide extra security in the neighborhood in case it did, because we thought it was going to happen that night. Ended up happening the next day. The next day, my roommate went and got the weapon. He, I, 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 he handed it to me. I said, to call 911. He called 911. Yeah. But, like, as soon as he started away. beating on your door, you could just call the cops right then and, you're like somebody's actively trying to if, get in my house. If I'm being genuine with you, yeah. if I'm being genuine with you, I, I will tell you three truthful things about it. Okay. Okay. Uh, number one, I knew that the internet was going to see this, and I knew that if I never answered the door and what all of this shit, you know, and this is one of the things that got me in trouble. So I told your my, pride got with you, right? Yeah. My, this my, like I must. I'm the son of a coal miner. This is not the kind of. Shit that we put up with okay you didn't want to put like I, a big, right you literally you're basically you're, you're saying right now here in the little cow pie you didn't want to look like a big fat pussy. yeah i wanted to fucking stand up for myself uh, for the uh, first time in my god life that's what i wanted to punch him. him why didn't you do what him, dummy you know i mean i, 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 be honest with you, I thought what i punching somebody's illegal i didn't think scaring them off your property <laughs> is illegal we used, we would yeah. do like that back in southwest virginia like yeah, a fire just shot like fucking just because <laughs> you felt like it you go out in your front yard and pull your trigger because it's fun 
right? I, like, I don't know if you, if you, yeah, but you live in the city him. limits now, though. And it would have been That's tragic fair, yeah. if you shot him, but it would have been, it would have almost been like fitting. Like, I, I, I bet you, you imagine the look in his face if, like, I can't believe Boogie just shot me. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, I, and I, I, you know, I always, I always, he's a, he had a he twin towers on his back, right? You would have died in prison. And he would have died, and everybody would have been like, well, he asked for it. You know, that's what would have happened, but you would have lost all your freedom. And, yeah, uh, right. Yeah. yeah. And and you would have kept me in, in, in drama for, for a good week. Right, so. right, right. I mean, at the end of the day, like, I don't want to have to hurt nobody. I'm glad I didn't have to. Does um, he have, you know, the doesn't air he, doesn't he have like the twin towers on his back? Hmm. I don't know. Well, the guy's like, it's, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't mean to like, I don't want to break my parole or nothing like that, but I would it. just say that the guy likes to be controversial. That is his brand. He likes to do well, bad that's things. That's how he makes he, money. You know, he to entertain bad people. You know. he, he showed he had no idea. The thing that got me is like he had no you, you weren't the, the, the stableist at the time. I, I have some inside information that oh yeah, you yeah. Have I was a hard like, time with it. I was fucking but, gone, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah you were you're pretty gone. Like he has like well, I'm gonna tell this to Frank right now. This is something I know that nobody else does. All right, um, you 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 were pretty close to like if he had done the right thing, I think I think it would have been really tragic. I I think what I think he took a look at you and said, "This guy's not doing it," and I'm gonna gamble. And uh, I have to say, it was absolutely the wrong time to do it because I don't even think you knew what you were doing. No, absolutely not. You go back and listen to that podcast with Keemstar. I listen yeah. to that. I have no clue who's talking. That ain't me. That are you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I and you talk to other you talk to friends of mine and stuff like that, and they were really because I, I got calls that whole weekend. They were really people were really, really worried about. I mean, I'm glad you didn't shoot him, but yeah, you would yeah, have yeah. definitely asked for it had you had you done it. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. my opinion, not Boogie's um uh judge hillbilly. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, uh to, to any prosecutor else, prosecutors out there listening, I'm glad nobody got hurt. I'm glad I didn't have to hurt nobody. I'm glad that he left my property, and I'm glad that you know, you know, I, but at the end of the day, I'm also glad that I stood up for myself for the first time in my in life right i stood up to somebody who is yeah that's a kind yeah. of that's kind of a speaking of place. standing up for people on cell phones on, on property did you guys see the cyrex got arrested cyrex why do i know that name it's a locale is it yeah let me google cyrex cyrex yeah who's cyrex oh i don't keep God. track he, of the rest he's of the my goblin of, he's the goblin of the internet <laughs> what, what does he do cyrex is that the guy that's like barely like uh he can barely speak he's so retarded <sighs> It's it's hard to talk about if you guys don't know who he is. But Chance Wilkins is his name. Apparently, yeah, he's yeah. got uh, a wiki. Cyrex. That's the guy in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> well, that's yeah. He's a yellow robot in Mortal Kombat, but not this guy. Oh, I don't know this. He's guy. an infamous online locale who has gained both notoriety and infamy for his freakouts and escapades. And hopefully, we can throw a picture of him up here because he definitely has a fairly unique look. What do you get arrested oh, for, Jordy? Somebody came out from his house and called him the p-word. Um, and uh, basically held a sign because, like, he lives in a house that has is in the in the city that has like a public sidewalk, which is like an easement, and he stood out on the public sidewalk holding a sign calling him a. So he didn't like this, so he decided to come out and confront the man, and um, hit him. No, he hit him with a baseball bat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but it, the dude's like five foot nothing. He like he literally got the baseball bat took from him. And he ran back inside, and then he got called the cops on him, and he got arrested for felony assault. Okay. Well, see, it doesn't. That's that's you know the um, you know what it tells me the haters are right about you guys. <laughs> you guys keep going to jail. And they you know, looking at this guy, looking at this guy. Let me go ahead and say that these guys. You ever notice that everybody in the local herds? pretty much are just ugly like it's just like high school continues for people mm -hmm. like me and him just because i ain't good looking right like if i didn't look like i've been hit with a ugly stick i think or like this guy i, I don't know that there's anything wrong with him other than the fact that he's just nasty oh, no 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 there's there's something wrong. he's way on the spectrum he's like a functioning autistic yeah well that ain't that ain't giving me like that's not a good reason to beat up beat up on somebody because they happen to be autistic and ugly you know? Well, I'm just saying, like, like I don't think he really understands the understands the whole grasp of everything he does because, like, he I'm, puts his whole life out there. Which I'm, that, I'm, I do that. I mean, me too. Times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think like, that's um, what makes a good locale is yeah. lack of self awareness. Right? We gotta have a certain lack of self awareness. We have to be kind of ugly. We gotta have gamers. to be willing to share everything. You know, gamers. Gamers is the problem. It's all games. That's a fucking problem. This comes from the dude with like a bunch of like Mortal Kombat systems. <laughs> Known as, known as the games attorney says, known as 
little goblet of Archon. <laughs> Akron. It was Akron. Akron, Ohio. Let's talk about DSP. Um, I, I, you know, he, he, I heard he, now he's pretending the thing isn't like he's saying this thing was never going to happen. It was never get going. That's clearly um, happening. We, we, like it, it's happening. I don't ever want him uh, to be on the show. I'm just saying. Except I would like to as, have him on here just as to an dunk on his ass. Unpaid guest. That's what I want. Okay. An All unpaid right. guest. That's what. So they, he'll, he'll get sick on you. What? Oh yeah. Like, we tried to get we tried to get him on the podcast show again. I shit all over DDP on the last, and I'm gonna shit all over him again this one, okay? Because it's my one of my favorite hobbies, okay? Mm. Um, I saw a clip of him getting mad that people weren't donating. You yeah. can't get mad that people look. I, when I live stream, hey, I live hey, stream hey, for two hey, hours, hey. and once every hour at the top of the hour, I remind people, hey, I would like some donations. I would like you, but you can't get mad at people in this economy for not giving you money. You can't get mad about it. You know how hard he works on his content, Boogie? How dare you? Uh, you know, <laughs> I, can't, I can't criticize me DSP on working hard. I'm he just saying, hard I I'm just saying, even if you're working hard, ain't nobody entitled to buy your shit, right? If I, I if I end up homeless one day, if I lose my house, if, if you know, whatever, that's on, it, it's not, it, it's not my audience's fault. That's on me, man. Oh, it's make so sure you sign up for that membership at Wings of Redemption. Yeah, oh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> I've been a Wings of Redemption member. But then, then he was like going off, screaming at people, like you can't say that about depression. And he was like screaming at somebody. He's like, I have depression. You whatever. That's I not going to get you sympathy, Phil. I learned. I know that the hard way. Don't I one hundred percent believe audience. he has depression. I one hundred percent believe he does have a depression. Dude, if you if, if you were Phil, how would you not be? depressed okay? no he's not it feels a sociopath he's not depressed at all if you ask him if he ever did anything wrong he's like no what are you talking about he's always in good spirits as far as like you never uh, you never see him like throw anything or yell and he's just he just keeps yeah. asking for more yes, tommy, tommy right. let's do a thought tommy let's do a thought experiment right now okay close okay. your eyes you go to bed tonight you close your eyes you wake up and you are phil you are in phil's body and oh. phil's life okay <laughs> first thing do you, you do is you go to the bathroom Depressed? Hey, do you first thing I do is I go to the house. If, if I if I if I if I if I see what protects Phil is he has a mental block that everything's okay and he's really good at Street Fighter and all that. Maybe That's what he, gets uh, the deck. You know, I, like, he, he thinks he's like a gaming champion. Do you ever see his gameplay? Like, look at Wings. Wings can play. Like that's one thing that nobody could say. Like, like is, is Wings the greatest COD player of all time? No, it, but he plays. And what are you rated now on that terrible game you play, Wings? I, I don't called? play Call of Duty. No, what do you play now? You play uh, Rainbow Six, oh, right? Oh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm champion rank. You're the highest, is that the high? Yeah. Is it the highest tier? The highest rank you can be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, you can play. DSP can't even do that. But I bet if I asked him right now, are you as a talented gamer as Wings? He would he would say, uh, like, yes, of course, I'm better. Like in the middle. Uh, <laughs> this is like asking an elephant to climb a tree. DSP would whoop my ass in Street Fighter. I no, could not no, touch him. Deal. Like in the words, you know how he got the championship. He 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 only got it. He got he because first everybody bo day. everybody boycotted the tournament. Yeah, he because wanted. it was a bad copy of Street Fighter. Like nobody played it. It was terrible. It was bugged to sh and, and uh, exploitable. <laughs> you know, which is probably if I had to guess, that's what DSP did. And he literally made a career on it, well into his forties. It's it's hysterical. But I'm just saying, I'm not trying to like you can't you can't you judge know, somebody by how well they do games. Like um, like I'm good at shooters, but I suck at. First person uh, fighting games or fighting games in general. Uh, you're better. Oh, come on, Wings. If somebody's giving you a compliment for the first time in your life, why don't you take it? You're better. <laughs> you're, you're good at something, for Christ's <clears throat> sakes. My favorite time is when you fix the game. You had the, you go to the throw of the game with that. Who was that guy? That, um, I, I will uh, go to my grave. The Alki David threw that that uh, agreement in front of me. Alki David threw that game. In yeah, the he was doing a he was doing this thing called what was it, Battle Pass or, it's or, great or Battle Net it. or something like that like he was trying to get a website going off and popping off uh -huh. and then the syndicate thing happened alki david came, came in real quick wanted us to do it on battle battle pass or battle bot or whatever uh -huh. he had going on back then and that's uh -huh. the agreement he wanted he wanted he wanted a trilogy oh really it's yeah really, really, really. what did you what did you what do you think when 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 it, when, when syndicate you know would was no fun and decided to go to the world and said you bribed them. What what what, 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 were your uh, feelings? what was going through your head at that? Honestly, point? at that point, I was I was young then. Like this, yeah. we're talking. This is oh, God, it's thirteen years, years ago. ago, almost fifteen. Yeah, like so. We're like, I was in my twenties. I was I was in Boogie's dating pool at that point. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, but um, 
I was oh. frustrated and mad, and like at that point, it was just more like just right on top of the pile. I yeah. didn't give up. I didn't care. I think that's. I think it's so awesome that I hope. I hope that I. Because really, it, it was I, underhanded, but it's yeah. like at the same time, it was like, yo, this is how it works behind the scenes. You know, yeah. like your favorite oh, reality oh, shows oh, actually oh, set up. Well, you're saying you got manipulated. You're not denying that you did it. You're saying you got manipulated into it to buy another guy, and you should have just. No, it. no, no. I'm not saying. I'm not saying anybody manipulated me into it. I seen the proposition. I wanted to make the money. I figured he'd play along, and he didn't. Yeah. Oh, he did. So okay. So that is your fault then. At the end. Yeah, it is my fault. Okay. Okay. See, you can do something that DSP can't do, right there. You're better than him already. <laughs> well, we'll I mean, I, 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 can, I can win a spelling bee too, but DSP probably can't do that. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I hope because none of us know each other all that well. We probably want to throw together. I want to be your friend. I do. I want to be Wings' friend. I'm not even kidding. I'm kidding. I know I'm, I'm doing my act a little bit, but I'm not at the same time. I want to be friends with people that. It fixed a video game. That's what I really you tried to fix a video game. That's so funny to me. And Dude, I, that happens <laughs> way more than what I oh, did. I'm sure. But I want to, but I don't know you, any, you, you should see that you should see the behind the scenes like professional Call of Duty. Oh, I'm sure. But I, I, I don't know those guys. I know you, and I want you to be yeah. my friend. You too. Well, I was I was in the behind yeah, the scenes yeah, of professional yeah. Call of Duty. I want to date. I I I want to I want to I, I want to I, I want to be friends with Boogie because he dates young bitches. You know, so that's pretty cool. I, you know, <laughs> I, I, I will say. If I'm going to brag a little bit, mm. the, I do have some pretty severe arrested development when it comes to my maturity levels, right? I like video games. I got Pac-Man tattoos. My house is filled with junk, and I'm tattoo? never going to be like an adult. And, I got and, like a Pac-Man on my arm and you, shit, right? You could um, convince me that if you bills weren't paid online, you'd pay them regularly. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what. I qualify I for disability, this. son. I got a check waiting for me, Jordy. <laughs> <laughs> this month. Did, did everything last minute for the fight? Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. you know what? My again, you didn't like, practice. You, you, didn't, you didn't practice. No, 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 no you know what? I practice like doing. Here's what I practice doing three times a day. I practice standing up, dude, because I can't walk so good. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, oh, know, yeah I have I no mobility, that. man. I used to be in a wheelchair. I remember. You know, this motherfucker ain't pounding no pussy for real. I know. I'm. I'm <laughs> I, you know, I, I, a gentleman doesn't kiss. Until, I will say. A this real man, from dude a real man lets no the more. lady do the work. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> My dick don't work anymore, and I'm criticizing you. Man, that, that kid barely walk lets the lady do the work. <laughs> I don't I just, know, I'm just work, saying. I got advice for both of you. If you don't want to work, go Asian. That's that's my advice. I don't know anything. I'm a married man, very happily married. If you don't want to work, go Asian. That's that's the low cow tip of the day. If you don't want to work, don't want to work, go. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, yeah, go, go. I want more details on that, Tommy. Uh, well, we'll do shows later, and I don't know. I, no, no, I, I don't want to be a low cow. You're the low cow, so. I'll, 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 I, you know, let me, let me, let me steal your thunder real quick. I will say that I have dated women from mm -hmm. all personality types. Uh, some, some nicer women, some more independent women, some more uh, submissive women. I've, I've dated them all. Yes. What's your and body count? I will say, sub, <laughs> I, I, but submissive is the way to go. If you can find somebody who's like, like submissive and nice like and gentle told, and kind and grateful, get in the back of my van and shut the fuck up, right? Is that is it something? <laughs> <that's happening? laughs> Not in the van. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Tommy. Yeah, something Jesus. like that. See, there I, is, like, I'm there is something to say about. I, happy, I like submissive with sass. Happy husband, has <laughs> happy home. Am I wrong? I want to meet your wife too. I think your wife's a sweetheart, by the way. Yeah, Actually, I, she I, is. I don't think yeah. she cared much for me. I, I, Kelly was wonderful. Kelly, yeah. Kelly is it? Is it Kelly is, is bother you that Kelly is probably more liked by your fandom than you? Does it bother you at all? Oh, she's not though. Like I think my, my fandom is so fucking crooked that they'll take a cancer survivor and make fun of her and call her Smelly Kelly. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> it, it's like like it, it doesn't even cross their mind what they're doing. No, you walked I, off one time and 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 Kelly did your stream and she did a pretty good friggin' job. I got to be honest with you, she did pretty pretty. Good job. In fact, I think I watched it on. Uh, well, I didn't watch it on your channel. I watched it on one of the uh, the um, what's his name, the hoodlum guy that does all this stuff. Let's give uh, him a Lummox. Lummox the hoodlum. I watched, and yeah. she did a good job. I really enjoyed watching those clips. And you seem mad. You were mad that she did a good job. Be honest. No, I don't I mean, even remember it honestly. Yeah, I used to do a lot of streams. I, I, I hate to ruin the the illusion for everybody out there, you know. Yeah. Uh, but the reality of it is. Kelly genuinely loves Jordy. And really? She's genuinely a kind person. And I just so. in the time that I we spent time together, you could just see 
how like how much she loved him and it was kind of wonderful and i was very happy for jordy yeah. yeah how do you feel that you got that guy at home depot fired that can put you in the face in the <laughs> Enter that way, Jordy. What does that make you feel? I didn't get well. First off, it wasn't a guy, and second off, they didn't get fired. Did you just check? You, I thought I thought you got them fired. By the way, they deserved it. They, they, that was way out of line. No, they didn't get fired. Like they, they didn't I, get fired. I, well, what I did is I walked in there and I'm like, you know, I explained the situation to the manager, and I just told her keep me in the loop, and the store went under about six months later. Oh, so, nah, it's too bad they didn't get fired. That was too but they didn't get fired. Like they I'm get sure fired. the trolls probably made the story up or something like that. Yeah, good. I, I, well, they kind of deserve it. They can't like I. I. I think that's correct. I think there's things that not mine. Not I many. was mad as fuck that day too. I bet. I bet. There's, no, no, not not about that. But when I was in the store, I was mad. That's why like, Kelly mad. was like, I had just got my truck back and like the radio was messing up on it, and like mm. it was freezing, and yeah. I had just got it out the shop from it freezing, and it was freezing again on the way from the shop. I was like, taking it around wasn't wasn't uh. Yeah, the wire. But I was just, I was just mad. I was just he was like, mad. well, then nobody's. I don't think anybody's got a right to put you on. <laughs> Somebody, some, some security guard, like saw you on camera and then, hey, look, Wings of Redemption is my store, and uh, and put that. It's on a Home Depot. It ain't no security guard. <laughs> yeah, what? What was it? Like, I, I forget what it was. Like, uh, somebody got you on a security camera like, and then took a picture. No, Home Depot was an Office Max. I'm sorry, Office Max. Office Max. That's what it was. It's like a little business store. Like I went there to get a folder and some pins. <laughs> you went to get some fun and all of a sudden you're all over the internet yeah well like like at the people don't know this but i used to i do i used to do a lot of landlording like i used to like have trailers and stuff like that and like mm. i had to keep things organized so i had to go there but then which really fucked me up because i literally like shopping there because it was convenient but the, at that point i couldn't shop there no more sure I don't know. I think I think we covered everything, gentlemen. Uh, you know, uh, there's one other thing I do want to talk about. Actually, let's go. go ahead. Can we talk about? Okay, number one, talking about getting filmed um, when you didn't necessarily expect it. Is Chris Chan the most? I, I'm I'm gonna call them he here a lot. I know people get mad. I don't really care. Pronouns, um, boogie. Pronouns. But but, but but Chris Chan, you know, I will use your preferred pronouns if I have like any Chandler, reason not to hate West you. But at the moment like that. that you bang your mom. I don't have to use your pronouns anymore. That's my you, opinion. Do you believe? Do you? Do you believe, oh, how dare you? Um, <laughs> I think he got uh, off of that. Honestly, I, I think. Uh, yeah, no, I, he did. He did. So there's one thing I want to talk about. Just this week, as we're recording this, Chris Chan has been let out of jail again. He was let out of jail once before, and apparently stole money from his mother's bank account, and then went back into jail, and now he's out again. And as of yesterday, he was filmed back at the Sonichu Temple at his sure. childhood home. Why wouldn't he be? presumably with Barb? Well, yeah, presumably, presumably but why wouldn't he be? He Barb got is in that house. He beat the rap. He, there's no reason he can't go over because there. at the end of the day, th this woman is still getting or hurt, or but I mean, she has is, Alzheimer's. You're not to looking be, you know, like, to be fair, know, he could have not done it. But here's the thing the cops let him go, they have no reason to keep him out. To they be fair, to he might not have done, but he might have also said he did it like 20 times in a jail letter, he, in a he, phone he, call, and he also said he was said it over and over and over again letters That's too problem. he said it's, it's just what wing said like he said he was jesus at, so. at the end i don't of know the if day, he did it again. I, at, I, I i was going with he didn't do it for a while because even if he i and i figured even if he if he had done it it was unprovable because barb's obviously not you know can be a good witness and neither can he he thinks he's like a demigod or some shit right so i i think that's what ended up happening with the police it got so they just dropped it because they had no evidence um, and I think it's completely feasible uh, that somebody could have talked him into doing that. And we've seen him like, I mean, he got talked into eating his own. At the end of the day, separate food. him. At the end of the day, separate him. Oh, yeah. Him. The state is right? like, the, don't have him in. The, don't like, even if you're just saying you're doing it, if you're telling the world yeah, you beat your children, you shouldn't be around your, your kids. Your issues with the state. I mean, I, I agree with you completely. Right. Like, at, at the end of the and this is another one of those scenarios where. Like, like I get it. Like a lot of uh, a lot right leaning people out there don't like social services, don't like human services. I get it. They this is the point of human services. services. Social services needs to step into the situation, evaluate Chris, and put Chris somewhere where he's not I, harmful to I, himself I, or others. And it's so like I get it. Like I, I back in the day when early 4chan cropped up and like I was following Chris and I felt bad for Chris early on. But like laugh. if you get manipulated to do something <laughs> truly awful. It doesn't yeah. matter that you got manipulated. You did the thing, man. You yeah. done the thing. If you go around telling everybody you did the thing, there's, I, I don't know. I, there's, Your someone needs to 
yeah. step in and help you're, that you're situation. If I had to stick up for those right leaning people, uh, I think they would even think in this circumstance they're talking. To, the right leaning people are talking about people that are living off of welfare, not people that we're that generally need some kind of welfare. Well, I mean, Chris will end up on welfare. Chris will end yeah, up on right, all the support right. if he's not already, and he of probably course, should be. He probably yeah, is. They can, they can hand him a check. They can't separate him. From right. His, but it's people like that that that's the whole purpose, man. And I get that this entire society is crumbling. I get that America's crumbling. I get the high the the homeless population is through the roof. I get that there's more people starving in the streets than there's ever been. I get that there's people shoplifting hundreds of thousands of dollars with the giant gangs and stuff just to survive. Like I get it. I get. I understand where conservatives feel how they feel. I, I arrive at that same opinion sometimes. But I'm saying, get Chris the fuck out of that home, man. All right. Did he? Or not boogie shut up Just i think he did i okay. think he did wings, <laughs> wings did, did 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 he sleep with his I, mom? I, th I think he didn't uh honestly he like just same reason of him like wanting to be a female i think he does everything for attention and people were giving him attention for something saying something just outlandish and he ran with it because he thought he, he, he could make money off of it okay fair enough hey listen up until a couple days ago and i don't know if this is true or not all right I didn't believe he did it. And I also believe even if he did, there's no way to prove it because nobody's a reliable witness in this situation. But a fan wrote me something that was very interesting. Now, this is going with a fan claim. So it's like, look, this is a well cop. We can we can do third hand over here. We're not news organization. Yeah. All right. So basically what the fan told me is Josh Moon. You know who Josh Moon is, buddy? Yes. I know of Josh Moon. Yeah. You know, oh, I bet you guys both. Actually, Josh Moon did you a solid a couple years back. Well, we, yeah, we, yeah. Josh well, Moon done me a solid too. Yeah, that's yeah. it. He did. He was real solid. Um, but um, supposedly the fan told me that he was listening to one of Josh's streams. And Josh's streams usually dis disappear. And he was talking to Chris, and Chris apparently allegedly said that he was had a girlfriend, and she was an accountant, and her favorite actor was oh, who's the guy that played Batman in the sixties? Uh, not Bob, oh, uh, Robin. Um, uh, West, David West. Adam West. Adam West. Adam West, West yeah, Adam West. Yeah. Adam West was her favorite actor, which I guess apparently um that's that describes barb to a t josh supposedly didn't think much of it at the time but what he thinks is after everything went down that it was chris trying to sort of uh do a weird flex or a soft brag to let people know that he was actually sleeping with somebody but not letting him know that his mother if that story is true and i'm not saying josh is a liar i don't know if it was a comment on my youtube channel let me take it for what it's worth if that's true, I kind of, I think I changed wings. I think he might have done it, and I think I, they just don't have the evidence for the reason I said they 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 can't get a straight story out of anybody or kit or anything like else. You know, they didn't it, find them. They, they, they there's this thing in court where like you can like plead insanity. Chris well, Chan would be one of the few people that could get off with insanity Absolutely, because yeah. he's 100 yeah. percent off his rocker. But I don't I don't think that like that's a you 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 just end up going into the hospital version of jail, which ain't yeah. great. You don't no. want to be there either. In fact, a well, lot of I, inmates yeah. will tell you it's worse there. It probably is, which is why we need Chris Can on the next Lull Cow podcast. What do you think, guys? I think I, that's, to that's, be that's, honest with you, I've, if Chris would, Chris, listen to me. If you would, I will use your proper pronouns and I would be as respectful as I can. If you will come on the show so we can get to the bottom of this, I would be glad yes. to do it. Yes. Let's do it. Wings, what do you think? I, I'm down. Let's I'm do down. it. Let's do it. This is a Lull Cow podcast, baby. We're going to. We're going to make this happen. All right, games attorney. I think we're going to end it. Uh, goodbye from the Locale podcast from Boogie2988, Wings of Redemption. And I'm Tony C, and we hope to see you real soon. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, that's all. Thank you, and good night.